Hey guys, if you're an OG to the channel, you guys know how much I enjoy the Dior Forever Glow Foundation. That one is just my ride or die. If I'm on a desert island, I must have that foundation with me. Love that one. Dior just dropped a brand new foundation. I've got it right here. This is the Forever Natural Velvet Powder Foundation. And today, of course, we're gonna try it on, test it out, and of course, give this product a score. All right, guys, let's get started. This is it right here. Love the size of it. That is massive compared to other ones that I have. So this is the color 1N. I like the component because you just squeeze right here to open it. Okay, this is the lightest shade in the collection. There are eight shades. I'm never gonna use this like little sponge here, but we will today. I would probably go in with a brush or a beauty blender, but I'm gonna use this just for try on purposes for today. This looks a very peach compared to my skin tone, so I'm hoping this kind of will oxidize down just a little bit. Packaging is great. The mirror is fantastic. That's quality. This is really lightweight for what it is. I feel like they kind of cheaped out on the labeling a little bit. This does say it's good for 12 months. Now, I'm, I'm curious to see the texture of this. So it's finely milled. I like that. Okay, this actually might match. This looks very peach and yellowy in the pan, very warm, but I'm actually really impressed. Wow, that's that's really nice. And the texture, that's nice. For comparison, I've got this one right here. This is the one size turn off the base powder foundation from Patrick Star. I'm just going to swatch this beside it to show you guys. This one I actually like quite a bit. When it's on the skin but I actually kind of like the color that this one oxidized down to by Dior a lot better than this one at first glance. Now when I do apply my powder foundation I usually go in with a brush and I'll just apply it that way because I want like a nice thin even layer but I do want to show you guys this one right here from Rihanna. We can't leave out Miss Fenty. So this one is one that I've got. I like this. I don't reach for it very often. I will admit that but this one is also very nice in formulation. When you've got all three side by side, these two look very similar to each other. The Dior still matches my skin tone probably a little bit better and I did again pick up the lightest shade in each one of these. I actually still think I kind of like the brand new one from Dior. So I can't wait to play with this and see how this turns out. Of course, I am gonna go in and do one side of my face with a brush and the other side with the sponge that it came with. Now, let's talk price. The brand new Dior is $76. That's insane. It's very expensive for a powder foundation when you've got other ones like the Fenty Beauty right here, which is $50. And of course, you've got this one right here from Patrick Star, which is $41. 50 shades, 32 shades, eight shades. We're gonna test this out. I don't have anything on my face so far, just moisturizer and that was applied a while ago. So it's a very clean base to start off with. I am gonna go in with this little sponge that it came with. Normally, I would not apply it with this, but we are gonna try it with half the face. I'm just gonna pick up some product right here. It does adhere good to the sponge. Oh, that is actually a lot more full coverage than I thought it was going to be. So I'm actually really impressed. Normally I would go down because this is a powder and lay down my concealer and do a bronzer and all that. But right now we're just going to test this out. I'm going to work with it on the other side and show you guys different steps. There is no scent to this. And the texture is like silk. It's very pretty. It's lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look heavy. And I've got very dry, sensitive skin and very pale skin. So I'm impressed that this is actually looking this amazing. I'm just gonna go right up under my eye. I'm just gonna bend that sponge. Okay, so the coverage that you get with this for a powder foundation blows me away. Like it's impressive, very, very impressive. Now that, I'm going to say, is one swipe of powder foundation, and I'm, I'm impressed. Like, I think that that's really pretty, and I have this hyperpigmentation spot, zero concealer on my face, 
and it actually covered it up decent. Like, it's still there just a little bit, but I'm, I'm blown away, impressed. Like, this is unreal. So I'm going to go in now. We're going to put some concealer on the other side, and I'm going to go in and apply this product with a brush, which is how I would normally apply my powder foundation. I'm going to show you guys that. So this is the brand new Too Faced concealer. I just did a video on this, so if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that out. I'm going to leave it in the description for you guys. This is a very lightweight concealer, and I actually super love it. So I'm just going to go in, conceal here under my eyes, step where I would normally add my concealer. Go down my nose, little on the chin, little right here, because I put a little red in my cheek, and I like to have a little bit more brightening. And I'll go in and usually do like a triangle-ish thing right there. You guys know this. You guys seen my video so many times. I'm just going to go in and blend that out with a wet sponge. What I love about this particular concealer from Too Faced, I love that they made it scent-free. And I love how it blends out. Still kind of sad about the wand. I kind of wish there was a bigger wand like the original Born This Way concealer. But this one has a very small wand that I like for detail around the eyes. And it's very brightening, as you guys can see. From my brush today, this one is from Juvia's Place, and this is a powder brush, J201 brush. I will leave everything in the description for you guys in case you guys are curious about the tools that I'm using. I'm just going to go in, pick up some of that product, and we're just going to apply it like we would apply powder. I feel like when I apply a powder foundation like this, it just gives a more natural look to the face. So you are going to get a more natural finish if you go in with the brush versus the sponge. It looks a little bit more, I don't want to say packed on, but it's just heavier it's a heavier coverage i super really like the finish of this powder foundation now when i'm using a powder foundation i will probably go in with either more concealer or an actual lighter foundation underneath and i will finish it with the powder foundation just when i'm working on say a movie set or something like that but this is really pretty and i like the coverage i like the way it's giving me you know that full coverage look but with a powder foundation i don't get that a lot so this is really pretty, loving it, love the finish. It does have a very silky, velvety finish to the skin. It's not drying, it's not tacky. I do have very dry, sensitive skin and I'm very pale. So the color match is beautiful, it's perfect. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like this? Which side do you prefer? So let's find out how bronzer sits on this powder. This is the Gucci bronzer in shade one. I'm going to go in with my, of course, my It Cosmetics brush. You guys know I love this brush for applying bronzer. I think it's beautiful. I'm just going to see how this sits on top of that powder foundation. So far, it's not pulling. Really like that. It's not dragging. That's actually really nice. I was skeptical because I was worried that it might pill up. But no, the formulations work amazing together. It sits on the skin really, really amazingly. It just glides. You guys are looking for something that is a really slippery foundation that your next product is gonna glide on top of it. It's this, like this is hands down expensive, being like $76, but this one is stunning. If you guys are looking for a really good, easy to apply makeup, 100% recommend. That's pretty, right? That's really nice. So it gets a 10 out of 10 for bronzing for me. This is really, really pretty. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It is time to give this product a score. Starting with application. I don't like sponges, but it actually applied very, very nice. Like I, I'm not mad at that at all. Again, I would probably only grab that sponge if I was in a pinch or on the go, which is a, actually an amazing way to use this product. Throw it in your bag. You can reapply throughout the day if you're at the office, at the gym, on the train. Like this one is just a foundation that you can take traveling. It's fantastic for that. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 for application. Let's talk texture. This one, honestly, I even asked my camera guy, does it emphasize my texture? Being a powder foundation, like I was curious, I wanted a second opinion. He goes, no. And I'm like, I have no 
primer on whatsoever. Are you sure? And he's like, no, <laughs> it just looks like you. And I was like, okay, because like when I look in the mirror, when I look in the monitor and I'm looking at this, this looks flawless. Again, I have just moisturizer on, no primer whatsoever, and this product. So that right there gets a 10 out of 10 for me. That's amazing. Moving on to pigment. So this is the lightest shade in the collection, shade 1N, and there are eight shades according to the Sephora website. That is not a big shade range. So even though that this color worked amazing for me, I feel like I'm gonna have to just dock marks just because there's only eight shades in the collection. Now, if you look at something like the Fenty, this one has 50 shades in the collection and there's definitely a shade there for you. This one is really pretty, I like it a lot, but I like this one a lot too. I'm just hoping that this shade thing works for everyone. Definitely check them both out. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. And finally, value. For $76 Canadian, I think it's super high for what it is. It's very pretty for what it is. And of course, we all know Dior's foundation is more on the expensive side. So do I love it more than my ride or die? This one right here, do I love it more than this? No, I love this one more. But for a powder foundation, I'm actually super impressed with it. Actually very impressed with it. So I'm gonna have to give this one a seven out of 10 for value, bringing us to a final score of 34 out of 40. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it? If you can afford it, definitely try it, pick it up. I like it, I think it's very, very pretty. And of course it blended out that bronzer amazingly. I'm shook, like very impressed, like very, very impressed. If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when I drop a new video. All right guys, until next time, live, love, and look last. Bye.